everyone, for this video I am going to be doing a full post of makeup using beauty products that beauty gurus made me buy all the time. Convinced me to buy due to being intrigued by it. So, I do have a lot of extra beauty products. Um, then I do have a series of Kylie Cosmetics uh, liquid lips that she first came out with. Plus some um, Jeffrey Star liquid lips. And of course a few pals here and there from other YouTubers. Now even though technically Kylie Cosmetics is a um, her influencer, she's not really a beauty guru. Like, she doesn't use, well she does use her own makeup but, um, you know, to promote it. But she doesn't use it in the sense of a YouTube, um, <laughs> YouTube conventional right. That's probably what she would do, but I'm not saying that I'm saying that she doesn't use her makeup the way a beauty girl does in the video. I will be using um like a lot of different makeup brands um from YouTubers I personally watch and that I have been intrigued enough to purchase from. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I have already dampened and cleansed my sponge a little bit. Now I'm just gonna moisturize my face because I also cleanse that at the same time. So I am just using coconut oil just to um genuinely hydrate my skin but also to moisturize. I have also noticed that coconut oil has been working absolutely wonders for my under eyes. My crow's feet aren't as prominent anymore and it's been a hot sweaty day so I probably look like poo the moment I turn my camera on. <laughs> okay so for the foundation I'm going to go in with it's going to be the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Now this is technically my sister's. Um, I ran out of my own ages ago and I just don't want to spend $64 or $65 um, plus a little bit more than that due to shipping and wait forever for it to arrive. I'm going to be hoping that there's enough otherwise I will just have to prolong it a little bit more with um, my fingers are still laced in coconut oil. So we'll then have to go in with my Maybelline foundation and fit me in classic ivory. But we'll see how we go with this first. I was shaking it up yesterday just so I could hear if there's any product in there. The last time my sister used a little bit of it was um her friend. She also has a video on her doing her friend's makeup. Okay, I got 11. It's a dropper one. So I'm just going to push the dropper out so there's nothing in there. And then push it back up. Hopefully I'll get something out of it. Oh, one more another one I did. Okay, closing Selena Gomez, but let's see one drop go to waste. And I'm itchy, I think I get a heat rash. Yay! So I was inspired to get this foundation by Shanxo because I was also looking um for foundations to get for myself because I wanted to try a more liquid um high end branded one. And when Shannon had posted her first impressions on the video of um you know this foundation. I just thought I would give it a try. So technically I was in the market for looking for um, foundations, even though I don't have dry skin, which is specifically what this foundation is meant for. So looks like I might just have enough. It's summertime, so I do not want to kick myself up. And the funny thing about this um, foundation being a hydrating one is it's also a matte one, which doesn't make too much sense, but whatever, it's the formula. <laughs> So it is unsurprising that we'll be using a lot of um, Shanex O products or XO Beauty products. Kylie like Cosmetics is a bit of a toss up because um, she's not a beauty guru but tons of people have bought her stuff. The only reason why she goes onto YouTube is so she can show her birthday makeup or whatever. Or there's just been a new controversy. I'm going to drop it straight onto the brush so that I can target my neck. I don't have to worry about it dripping right directly down. Okay, that is officially my foundation done. So now I'm going to get in with the NYX Wonder Stick. This is also my sister's. I will eventually get my own. I don't really remember too much of who I last saw of a beauty girl using this um, particular product, but I definitely know that a few YouTubers do use this. Higher end YouTubers that is, but I just don't remember who. So of course, under eyes, forehead, bridge of the nose, and chin. I don't worry about, um, my cubes bow. I wait until I have my lipstick on before I take care of that because I also have a five head. Well, at least I think I do. This is a sharp jawline of mine. Can't go in with my beauty sponge again, but um, off to the side. I always forget to contour with the freaking nose. It's not really that difficult to remember, Shannon. Alright, my camera shut off, but I just got done with my blending in my contour. So for setting powder, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier powder. I was definitely inspired to get this between Nikki Tutorials, Amy's Makeup Box, 
and I'm gonna stay away somewhere else, someone else in there in between. This one is a universal powder. I would have preferred the uh, translucent one. So first, just blend out any creases. Then I'm using the XA Beauty um, Do It in a Power Brush. And now I am using a powder brush to set the rest of my base with the same powder. Okay, so next in line for my makeup routine is brows. So I'm going to go in with my ABH Brow Pore Made Top. The only brow product that I have. You can of course use eyeshadows, um, other branded pomades, but I just specifically have this one. I'm finding traces of hair everywhere. Some of it's weak hair, some of it's my own hair. Because it's been so warm today, the pomade sort of melted a little bit, so it's going to be much easier to use. I am using an XA Beauty Brow Groomer Brush. It feels like I'm trying to promote her. I promise she does a good enough job on her own. I'm just a fan of the, pro uh, the um, tools. That's, that's an interesting brow. So because I have got stubble growing in, make it like I'm a man, I'm just following the basic shapes that I can see. I'm going for a very high arch today, apparently. Alright, so now I'm going to take the other end of my... I suppose I could use... No, that's too stiff. It's got glitter product in it. I'll clean that out eventually, so I'm just going to use... um, Just do it in a powder brush just to sharpen up the lines a bit. I do not wear my brows this thick. Shave off the edge a bit. Okay, as I say, brows are sisters, not twins. So I'm stress if you can't get them looking identical. Some brows are even um, distant cousins a few times removed. Okay, so <clears throat> now to get on with eyes. I'm going to go in with my Mac Paint for Salt Ochre. And this one's definitely um, inspi uh, spot inspired or um, convincingly bought by um, Amy's makeup box and Nikki tutorials. Again, I'm pretty sure it's been warm enough today for this stuff to be rather soft, and this it is. And now just to, why did I shut my powder? I just set that over. Okay, now my eyes are primed and set. I'm going to go in with multiple different palettes, but the first main one that I'm going to go in with, without a strong doubt, is definitely this one. I have been loving the remix palette. I'm going to start off with an um, ABH brush. Um, I'm not too sure, um, I think it was either the Meta Modern Renaissance palette or um, the Subculture palette, but the brushes have just come with it. I'm going to take some of Buttercup, and of course, place this into the crease. Now I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It's not the only um, makeup product that I have from Morphe. I am going to go in with... This shade here and add a B. Now I'm going to go in with the shade just below it. And once again, add a B. Lately, I have been into um, warm neutral tones in my eyes. And it is just a phase, mum. Taking the small side, I'm going to go in with this uh, reddish purple shade here, so like a whirlpool shade. And Add a V again, start adding the depths. Also, I have no idea what each of these names are. I'm pretty sure I might going come with um, the little uh, sheet in that lists all the names. But my sister has a sheet, so I'll just list each of the names um, to the best that I can. Or if you know which shades I'm talking about, then even better. So that's the Jacqueline Hill palette touched into. Now I'm going to go back into the uh, Shining Star Rubik's palette and it is um, Beach Babe shade using my finger and the main center of my eye. Also, the only reason why I'm using my finger is because to get a much stronger color payoff. So now I'm going to go over to the other side, up, pretty much the newer side, and take eyeliner low and to highlight that. It's for a very powerful metallic highlight shade or whatever you want to call it. So now I'm going to go in with Rainbow Girls from Queen and take, I'm going to take the um, brush that comes with the palette. So I'm going to take Sweet Tea, which is this one here. The palette smells so nice. And of course, my under eyes, which this is pigmented, so be careful. So now I'm going to take a little bit of Big Baby. And my inner corner. And a little bit of go to wings. Okay, I'm tossing it between. Um, I'm so contemplating Jeffree Star because 
Although he's now a YouTuber and technically considered a beauty guru now, he was originally a pop singer, so therefore celebrity. But um, it's like a little, literally the best of both worlds. He's a celebrity, but um, he's also now just a beauty guru. And this video is supposed to be um, down to, um, you know, makeup products that. Well, I suppose I did see another video where um, a girl, young woman I meant, had um, used some Jeffree Star cosmetics or at least a brand that he's used. So, so I'm going to take the Georgia Lee palette because that's his newest one. I forget which shade I can do what with this. So I'm just going to take a Kylie Cosmetics brush and take Frosting and under here. Yeah, that's literally, uh, that's officially Jeffree Star touching with. So now I'm going to go back into the... I want to go back into the BH Cosmetics um, Remix palette and once again take Buttercup just to blend this out and that's just a bit too harsh. So now I'm going to take some of Clarity, tackle that back down. So now I'm going back into Buttercup. So now I'm going to take Clarity again. Okay, so for my eyeliner. I do have to give this another chance. Get used to it. This one was definitely inspired by Shannon XO. What a big surprise. I'll do my best to do the best eyeliner job that I can because it is a wheel and it doesn't exactly cooperate with certain angles. Okay, my camera had overheated. It's that one with my room apparently. So I just got the other eye done off camera while it was cooling down. So now I'm going to stick on some um, false lashes but first curl my lashes. Using a Maybelline Lash Curler. So I actually did a lot better with um, this eyeliner than I thought I would. I'm going to get in with the uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational and pretty much every YouTuber has used this. Apparently I had some excess shadow on my um, lash curler. So I just had to add some interest. Rule number one of when you get mascara on your face, let it dry. Don't try to erase it so quickly. It will just smudge everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a brief moment to start drying down, including a little speck, but I'll remove that towards the end of my makeup. So while the mascara is taking a moment to dry in, I'm going to um, fill my lips in. I'm going to use... I think I put it away. No, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> so I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to go with the nude lip, because lately I've been liking a nude lip. I'm going in with... I still don't know if this is technically cheating or not. I don't know if this appears a challenge. All I know is that I've just been seeing on YouTube that people have been um, uh, using makeup that beauty gurus have um, inspired them to use. So there's nothing, there's no mention of challenge, so I guess you can use whatever. Um, I'm going to over, uh, the overdraw, but I'm going to draw my lips with um, Dolce K from Kylie Cosmetics. Okay, so now I'm going to top that off with Exo Beauty's for locally. My battery is also just starting to run low, so I'm going to let, let it charge just for a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, now that my battery has had a good chance to charge, as I was importing and just getting started on editing the video while my battery was charging, I realised, damn, I sound so dead bit and bored. But honestly, it's just been a hot, stuffy day, the weather's clearly bobbing off on me, and I'm just concentrating on doing my makeup, so I'm sighing a lot, I'm you know, almost whispering what I'm doing, I'm just like, Shana, can you please get some life in, just into you? So now I'm just taking down some soft drink just so I can hopefully perk myself up a bit, bit up a bit more. All I start to do now is put on some false lashes, bronze and contour, not in that order. Well, yeah, you can do it in that order. And I have no setting spray, so that's um, one step for me that gets um, skipped over. But so just lashes, bronze and contour and highlight. So three steps left. We can do this. Not that we're struggling. But this is literally the only, um, well, as well as the party stuff, but it's the only um, lash kit set that I have from Extra Beauty. I know there are tons of other brands, but not every other brand is cruelty free. And even though I do still own some makeup products that, are, um, that aren't cruelty free, that still do you know, considerably test on animals, there's only so much I can't use, but I know certain products for certain looks. So I'm going to go in with this um, Rain of Thousand Hour uh, Lash Glue. Yes, Shannon does have a Lash Glue, a non 
um, allergenic one, but I haven't quite got my hands on that yet, so I'm just using this one until I can. And for a very, very cheap glue, it actually works out pretty well. So in humidity, um, like with everything else, it just, the lashes do start to fall off a bit, but I'm in summer and everything melts. Good in the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay, so this doesn't take long, too long to get tacky. So I will be back once these lashes are on my eyes. Okay, I also forgot to mention I did go in with the Romantic, the very bottom pair from the Natural set. You can by all means go in with a more dramatic pair, but I just decided to go with these because these are about as dramatic as natural lashes can get. <laughs> so yes, and the glue dries quite fast, mostly because I am also in very warm weather. So now for bronzing. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my AC on tour palettes. I think I have seen Shannon use something similar to this um, once in the video. I know I mentioned Shannon so many times. So I'm going to contour first using the middle shade because it has got great undertones. So it's good for recreating shadows. So I'm just extending away to the cheekbone. Now I'm also tapping onto my hand just a bit just to take off the excess. And know, it usually works. Yeah, let's go have dinner before the aircon makes it cold. There's a microwave. That's not the point. <laughs> yes it is. Okay, it has cheekbones, temples. This is just going to help me look like I'm more chiseled and more contoured and more defined than I really am. Until people see your video, no one will ever know the difference. Or well, notice the difference, I should say. Don't let them make it obvious. Once so again, bring my five head down to a forehead and the jawline. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I don't worry, I'm I'll um, silence the clip. As you've noticed, I have been using my power brush to do this. And just a little bit on the nose as well. Alright, now for bronzing. So I am in summer, I do want to make it look like I go out to the sun, even though I did go out today into the sun. I'm going to take this more, um, less orange tone, a more grey tone bronzer. Okay, that is officially bronzing contouring done. Oh, just the TV. That's obnoxiously loud. So... Hopefully I can't get copyright strike from... TV noise. We're going in with my highlights and I have been having a bit of a favourite lately, like a combo. Um, I have been taking some of Holy Grail to start off with from BH Cosmetics. And obviously highlight where you usually highlight. And now I'm going to go to the other side of it and take Island Glow. And last but not me by no means least, I'm going to take when I find it. I'm going to take some of Aurora. From, also from Exo Beauty, and this is a more fine male one, so it'll pretty much sweep right across. And as for my nose, I do just take my finger. Back with the brush again. Now I'm just going to take the lipstick again, because I don't want to direct it on my top of my lip. Okay, and that is officially the makeup done. Like I said, I don't have any setting spray, so... I'm going to have to stop over there, but I'm going to be watching it after this video anyway, so this is officially my full face done of using beauty products that I have been inspired to get by other beauty gurus. Not made to get, no one shoved these things into my mailbox. So I will list um, right here on the screen, I'm only looking up and over because my mirror is in the way, but I'm going to list here the screen, uh, list, list here the screen, list here the list. <laughs> of all the body products that are used by um, YouTube and Name. I will also list it down below when I remember. And yeah. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I sound so deadbeat midway the video, but hot stuff a day rubs off. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you all for my future videos. Ciao!